M0FXB, welcome back to my video on the Yesu FTX1. Thought I'd do this one today. The date is the 7th of August 2025. Now, many of you will be receiving this radio tomorrow, the 8th of August, which happens to be my daughter's birthday. But anyway, I just want to tell you that you have made an excellent choice. This Shack in the Box radio is absolutely fantastic. Now in the background you can see my 101 which I absolutely love and using this radio does feel very similar when you're using the HF bands but remember this radio is VHF, UHF also has wires X, GPS and we, we do have a GPS antenna here. I'm actually using the Thinkware one which works fine on this transceiver. And don't be put off by the function menu because it's very intuitive. Hold down the F here and you've got your selections. There are three pages. You can see that the one I recommend you use a lot is the D level. Okay. And if we just back out, I'll just quickly show you the other pages there. Whole page there on CW and then page three. And one of the, I think I can show you the GPS lock here. We'll go to APRS. And go to done on settings. I'm pretty sure I can show you GPS. Let's realize that's the wrong place to look. Back out, there's a dedicated back button here. Go to go back and look for APRS list. That's what you're looking for. There it is, APRS list, and then you go GPS info, station list, GPS. And there's my lock. How cool is that? And soon we'll have the wires X button working. If we turn up the volume here, now look at this. You've got simultaneous receive, sim and also separate controls for volume and squelch on both sides. RF gain. Press. You go to this side, and then we can turn up the volume, and we can be tuning. Seven one four five. And if I go on the. Of course, the 101 is going to be superior because it's a dedicated HF radio and, and a bigger speaker. And just think, with the display on the 101, you have to press like so. And then you've got the display modes, dual, like so. Well, look at this. Hit the display here. You can stack it, single display, and when the conditions are good, they are good. I use a, at, this, at the moment, just using a 49 to 1 ballon and 66 foot length of wire. But every night around this sort of time, the conditions just get good on 40 meters. So the basics are you've got separate um, AF, RF squelch on both sides. You can switch back and forth. You can do single screen. Press and hold the function there to get the menu as you saw. Yes, it does APRS, it works. There's firmware already for the for the um, the USB out on the side. You can charge the battery separate. You've also got DC input, which I'm using right now. It's 10 watts with DC input. We've got the GPS. Group mode, PMG mode, which does work well, but you need to put in some memories. See if I can add one now. Press and hold PMG. Is it going to make me do it on the B band? It's just to do the band, press and hold the top mag button. Select the band. Let's just hit 77s there. Turn it down. Hold. Let's try PMG now. Yes, it's in there. So all you do is every time you select a different one, you go press PMG again. Now back. Change frequency. It will change band. And then press PMG and it adds it there. And you've got two PMGs and it'll bounce up and down with the activity. You've got a mode button on top as well. Let's just go back. Or you can just tap the screen. Brings up the mode. I'm not seeing that, that it does that with the band. Um, with the band you do have to press that top button unless I'm wrong. You've also got this new feature that is... A memory scan similar to PMG. VFO memory up here. I'm off for the day tomorrow, so I'm quickly doing this today. Fast and fine tune. When you use this knob, it's this side basically. And then when you're on this side, 
you've got your sub dial and you're gonna absolutely love this device and the Bluetooth I have been testing the Bluetooth which works I think as good as any other Yesu radio with the SSM BT 10 and there's I think there's a BT 20 so you're gonna have a lot of fun with this you do need to look after it I recommend you get the sort of housing for it because this thing you know you want a good grip on it you don't want to drop this radio because this it's it's very expensive and packed with features and I feel like anything of this weight if you drop it it's gonna break so thanks for watching just thought I'd give you a quick overview and enjoy your your FTX one uh, I have made several videos but send me some requests if I haven't already made the video I will do but remember it's HF VHF UHF, UHF all mode transceiver and wide band as well and works great on air band thanks for watching my channel and bye for now all the best